This is the place. Let's wait for Mulani here. Did you see the flags at the front gate when we entered? Oh, yeah. There were flags, weren't there? Those are our tribal flags. One for each of the six tribes that make up Natland, including the children of Echoes. Why the sudden tour guide route? <laughs> I said I'd introduce them to Natland, and we've got nothing better to do, so I might as well deliver on the pro- Fair enough. <clears throat> well, I'm from the Scions of the Canopy. We live high in the mountains and have the closest ties to the Yumkasaurs. My friend Mualani belongs to the people of the Springs, a seaside tribe. The scenery over there is beautiful, and you can find some really tasty fish. That just leaves the Flower Feather Clan, the Masters of the Nightwind, and the Collective of Plenty. If we get a chance after the pilgrimage, I'll be sure to show you around. Well, if we're talking tribes, allow me to stand in for our chief and welcome you on behalf of the people of the... S Mualani, you're back! <laughs> we were just... Everything settled on my end. My teammates took it unbelievably well, actually. Your reputation is really something else, Kanich. They probably just didn't see any drawbacks to your proposition. We're saying the same thing here. You, my friend, are a formidable competitor. Hello there. Here to register for the pilgrimage? That's right. I wanted to ask, though. These two travelers are very interested in the competition. Any chance they could take part? I'm sorry, but only people from Natlan are eligible to participate. You couldn't make an exception just this once? This traveler is a renowned adventurer. He's more than skilled enough to participate. And I'm sure the audience would be interested in seeing what he can... It's not that simple, Miss Mulani. Even a single exception sets a dangerous precedent for countless interested parties in the... The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battle. This is the fire that fuels the sacred flame. Natlan is only safe from the invasion of the abyss while the sacred flame burns eternal. Oh, so there's another purpose for the tournament. That was the initial purpose, actually. Every participant, whether they win or lose, contributes to the defense of our nation. That exactly right, Mr. Kanich. Contending fire can only be produced in battles between people of Natlan. Outlander participation would inhibit the production of this fire, which could in turn jeopardize the sacred flame. Oh, so it all comes down to the contending fire. Well, you can still enjoy the event from the stands. I'll try to get you some good seats. That would be great! Tourists like us are better suited to being spectators. Bill, there's something Paimon was wondering, actually. You read Paimon's mind, Traveler. Why doesn't everyone just fight together? You know, since you can bring them back to life. The power of resurrection has its limits. For starters, the Ode only works on those who bear an ancient... That's also why ordinary people who emerge victorious in the pilgrimage aren't sent to fight the Abyss. It's for their own protection. Although, they're still afforded the same honor as those who triumph over the Abyss in battle. That brings us to the other condition for resurrection. Not much to this one, actually. <laughs> Just one word. Victory. The victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. Only those who triumph over the abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat in battle not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, preventing it from ever being inherited again. The tales of the vanquished are eventually forgotten, and an ancient name cannot survive when the stories of its bearers are lost to time. Yeah, they won, right? Isn't it the defeated ones who need reviving? You have to think about it at the team level. For example, five representatives will be sent to repel the abyss this time. Even if four of them were to perish, the Ode of Resurrection would still take effect. All you need is for one person to return. Because every victory is a building block of our... Of course, the team needs to be strong enough for that to be the case. That's why the first stage of the pilgrimage is divided into teams. To instill in us the... Imp no one fights alone. That is what we believe. A lone warrior is one whose defeat is final. This all sounds pretty... Well, that axiom is meant to be a warning as much as a source of inspiration. Danger is always present. But together... We can move forward, united in the knowledge that behind every hero charging into battle lies the support of all of Natlan as well as our Archon. Not to mention, the Abyss isn't an enemy with a concrete form. We're often just dealing with the fallout of its scheming. 
I've actually fallen in battle before. The realm of the Wyab? Does that mean the Wyab exists somewhere in Natland? Hard to say. The realm's not somewhere you can access by ordinary means, and very few people are capable of establishing a mental connection with the- We call this realm the Night Kingdom. A mysterious liminal space between the body and mind. The fact that you were resurrected at all is the worst thing in the world. Then releasing you from your timeout has got to come in at a close second. <laughs> you would do well to speak with reverence of the almighty dragon lord Kahula ha <laughs> Bless you. If you're done arguing, <laughs> your registration... Huh. It all went fairly quickly, considering we all know each other. Now, I just need to register your team members according to... In the meantime, you can all go rest at the hotel. As usual. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. All food and entertainment before tomorrow's matches are on the house. Courtesy of our, our family and friends included. Which means, you both get in on it. 